you can create beauty from any beginning. It doesn't matter what ashes, what weeds, where you come from, how it started. You can create beauty with any beginning. vlog um i wanted to give you some of me cute because y'all know the rest of the vlog i just be in my uniform in my car going from place to place to place i'm working i was like let me let me come on here and say good morning and say happy mother's day to all the mothers this will probably be a few weeks after mother's day but today today is mother's day um babies are still asleep it's quiet in my house. I've filmed two videos. I feel so productive right now. People are already texting me, Happy Mother's Day. Like, I'm, I'm here for it. But I want to welcome you guys to this week's vlog. So, it is the week of May. What is today? 9th or 10th? Something like that. Second week of May. So, I've already filmed two videos. And I am seriously debating a third. Seriously debating a third because it's so quiet in my house. I've also took some videos, some some content photos just right here with her. I'm taking these braids out this week. Um, this week as in probably Saturday. Cause they're they're done. They're done. Um, I don't know. Should I film a third? It's so quiet. Usually my third one is like when I'm like, mm, I don't know. But this week, May has been all about the mom for me. Um, so both of the videos that I filmed were for moms. Just uh, some ways that I find balance as a military mother. And then also uh, dealing with mom burnout. So... Trying to think of what a, a third video could be, or I could just get to editing. Let's go ahead and get into this weekly vlog. And yeah, let's go. I'm going to try video number three. Baby girl just woke up. Dylan just woke up. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. You know, I, I have the same makeup in all the videos. So I remember being in my 20s and looking around, you know, Facebook, social media was just starting to pop off back then. And I would look around and, and I would see everyone getting married, having children, being happy. And I was in the worst state of my life. Yeah. Thank you, baby. Thank, thank you, honey. I appreciate it. I wish you were sure what I made for you on this Mother's Day. I'm trying to film. And your daughter just woke up. You making breakfast? Mm -hmm. We going can we go to first watch? I'm ready. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm gonna come. I'm not gonna film. I'm gonna film this next week, guys. <laughs> mm. So good. It's, this is what I requested. But breakfast? You got lunch yesterday? I don't know. First watch is going to be busy, so. Let me actually put some clothes on. Because right now I got on a cute shirt. And sweatpants. Mm-hmm. I'm going to actually put some clothes on. And help the kids get dressed. So we can go get some breakfast. Mm. It's very pink. Now, I was going for pink, but pink is what I got. Yeah. 
Let's go. Put your new shoes on. And why those socks don't match? I'm coming to you. Here, here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's still Sunday. <laughs> I had the best nap. And now I am about to make spaghetti. To pour some wine and make spaghetti for my family. I just wiped off all my makeup. I didn't wash my face yet, so I still look crazy. So, and clean up, y'all. Oh, my gosh. So, I did all the things I wanted to do. I ate really good. I oh, took a great nap and now i'm about to do some uh, ate all my strawberries i need my husband maybe some more they're really good and i'm gonna mom a little bit because if i don't the house is just going to be crazy tomorrow so i'll see y'all tomorrow mm. <laughs> oh my gosh i just sprayed this stuff in my car it is so strong but struggling the monday struggle <laughs> Uh, it's not terrible. I just really have this overwhelming desire to organize my life. Like, I just feel like I have so much stuff and I'm not really using it to the best of my ability. I don't even really use my happy planner, which I have invested so much money into this planner. And I, I don't. I think I, I feel like I've outgrown it. Um, I think it, honestly it is just having a toddler. She knows how to tear it apart. And I don't want to have to keep putting it together. So breakfast today, breakfast of champions, is <laughs> ginger snaps. I forgot my breakfast this morning, running late. And I have a bag full of ginger snaps in my car. So this is what it is. They're waiting for me. Struggling. All right. I will see you guys later. Later, later. Probably later, later today. Later, later. The later, later, later. me on lunch i actually did not take my jacket off normally i take my jacket off sometimes i take my whole uniform off if i have like a long lunch period which actually today i did but i kept everything on because i wanted to stay in work mode and i actually got so much done my husband's calling me hello Hello? We had planned to real quick. Go in the um the garage and right in front of that cutter is a white people um pay for this. Most of the names is crossed out in yellow. Um take a picture of the front and the back for me and send it to him so I can send it to this drill site so he'll know who paid and who did. All right.
Bye. No. Um, I wish they would allow you to put more than one link because I'm super active on my regular Smiles May. You guys need to be following it. If you're not following it, go follow it. Uh, but my Words to Heal page, which is my business page, not so much, right? So I wish my content is pretty much the same. I, it's me. It's using words to, to be successful and, and being a person. I don't know. Um, but just, I need to be more active on that. Let me show you guys my husband. This is little funky studio. I did, uh, send a link to, um, the home edit, ask them if they would come and help us. I really wish the home edit would come and help us. Uh, I don't even think they watched it yet, <laughs> but we'll see. But this is actually what he does. So it's pretty cool, right? So this is one of the shirts for the soldiers. Um, Super cool. I love it. Um, I'm editing the vlog to go up today. And then um, I'm going to tidy up a little bit since clearly I'm not taking a nap. Look at y'all. Look at this hair. I'm not taking a nap. So <laughs> uh, I'm going to just go ahead and tidy up a little bit so we don't have to do it this afternoon. So I'll talk with y'all later. I might put a little cleaning reel in. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, let's clean this up. It's the reality of my living room. Let's do it. Not bad for a little power clean. I got all her stuff up. Still need to do the floor, but it's not. Guys, I am loving. I think these are tulips so pretty they were just bulbs and then it's been about a week now they're blooming so. i smell like cigarettes because i um burned some sage in the house trying to be fancy I don't even know how to do it. I definitely did not do it properly, but I definitely smell like cigarettes. I was going to try to let my hair uh, stay in until the weekend, but I think I'm pretty sure I'm going to take it out tonight. Yeah, I was thinking about doing a video about this, but I said, you know what? There's no need in doing a full video. Let me just talk to the people in the vlog. So something that I have really like been just now getting over as a I will be 35 in August so a few months is the fact that I was chosen to go through the things that I went through in my 20s I would be like why like why me like God like for real like no 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 Lord like for real for real like why me like I feel like I'm a decent person I treat people nice I do well I read I pray you know my 20s not so much but a little bit um but I felt like I was a decent person and I would always find myself saying why why me I also found myself saying like why things that I couldn't even like I didn't do to myself like why I would know people and I would feel like there were people around that never went through anything like their parents were married um and they just had a happy healthy home with two stable parents uh lived in the same house forever got married young like ain't never went through anything um, and it seems like life was handed to them on like a silver platter. And I would find myself saying, why? Like, I don't even understand. And here at 35, I realized that I was actually chosen to go through the things that I have been through in order to help others. Uh, so what is the point of having this life and, and not going through anything and not being relatable and not being able to help anyone. I'm not saying these people couldn't help anyone, but they're able to help people that are in similar situations to them. Like your your reach is only as wide as people that you're able to reach. And you can't 
reach me if you've never been a single parent, you know, if you've never gone through a heartbreak or a heartache because you married your high school sweetheart, or you can't tell me about coming from a broken home if your parents are still together and there's no brokenness, you know, and maybe there is were difficult times, but it's different coming from a broken home. You can't talk to me about growing up with without a parent. I grew up without the presence of a parent physically. My dad was incarcerated all of my childhood, all of my teens, most of my adulthood. Um, so you can't talk to me about these things if you never went through them, you can't talk to me about abuse, whether physical or mental or emotional. You cannot talk to me about these things if you've never gone through them. And I had to realize that I was chosen to go through these things, even the things that I didn't put myself in that situation. And a lot of things I did. I made things worse. So I accepted people or allowed people to come into my life that I shouldn't have. And I didn't know any better because I didn't have that foundation of what solid, a solid person looks like. I had a foundation of brokenness and I had to work through that in order to discover what solid relationships and what solidarity <laughs> in a person and character looks like. Even though I feel like I have always exuded these qualities. I've always been a good friend. I've always been loyal. I'm a Leo to the heart. Okay. I will fight you for my friend, but I was not able to find people until later in life. And some of the relationships I still have, and they have always been solid, but while I was growing up and figuring out my way, other people were also growing up and figuring out their way. So the relationship has changed because we all are now whole or, or more whole than we were 15 years ago. So um, I had to, to deal with myself and realize that a lot of the things that I've been through were so I could help someone else. And I would pray for that. And I didn't even know. I would always say, you know, if my story helps one person, but I didn't realize that I, the story that I was talking about was the story that I hadn't even lived yet. You know, I, I had no idea. I had no idea when I was saying these things and saying this prayer that I hadn't even gone through the things that would really, really, really bring someone out. Um, and I just... There's beauty in it, but it's still it's still hard. And it's crazy because the person from my 20s, I don't even know her. I have grown and matured and changed so much as a person. And my foundation is the same. When I go back and I listen to young Renee, when I listen to Sister Girl on YouTube from her 20s that was single mom Renee. Oh, she be talking. Y'all need to go back and watch them old videos. But... I also know that the, the foundation is the same. Like the silver lining of who I am is the same. My, my morals, my character, all those things. I have just matured in who I am. I am stable. I am whole. I am unwavering. Um, I know who I am. Oh, drop my water. <laughs> and um, I, I've just been in awe of the journey of getting here. And I'm not. Yeah, I ain't perfect. Please. Please don't believe I'm perfect, okay? I am mean. There are a lot of people on this earth that I don't talk to. And they want me to talk to them. But I don't talk to them. I am mean. I'm firm in my beliefs. And and once the belief factor is uh, shaken, I just don't. I just don't. You know, and that's okay. Um... But, I don't know. I feel like I'm rambling, but then when I go back, I listen to it. I'm like, okay, okay. That's how Tay Tay says okay. But, um, I just... Be okay with your journey. I think that's what I'm saying. Be okay with your journey, right? It, it doesn't have to be perfect. You guys look at me. I feel like people look at me now and they're just like, oh my God, you're just so perfect and cookie cutter. Nah, sis. <laughs>
<laughs> no, no, I have just found myself and I'm okay with her. I love her. I'm happy with her. And because I'm happy with her, I say y'all gonna take me or leave me, period. But also, I mean, I, I get that a lot of people get there where they're just, they're happy with who they are, but you gotta be a good person. You have to have a good foundation. And I've had to work through the foolishness of my life, what I was handed and also what I got based on decisions that I've made personally. Um, you gotta, you gotta work through that nonsense. I probably should have gone to therapy a lot. I probably still should go to therapy, but YouTube is therapy for me. I talk to y'all and I figure it out and I help me get through the uh the nonsense and the noise and get to the nitty-gritty at the end of the day I want to be a good person I want to be a good mother I want to be a good wife I want to be a good leader I'm okay with being a good friend and, and and family member you know but that that friend and family member that stuff goes into the the people that choose you the way that you choose them and y'all establish that relationship i'm not here for people who are involuntarily in my life right those family members that you got to deal with because that's your family mm -mm. no nah, i'm not mm -mm. nope not at 35 mm -mm. nope not at 35 at 35 it is a choice um so yeah just be be okay with your journey uh whatever it has looked like because you can create beauty from any beginning any beginning you can create beauty from any beginning it doesn't matter what ashes what weeds where you come from how it started you can create beauty with any beginning it's going to take hard work it's going to take commitment to yourself it's going to take you actually getting through the noise and the bs of what you've been handed as in your upbringing and all of that and then also what you have had to deal with based on your own decisions i've made some terrible y'all terrible decisions in my life and I had to deal with that and sometimes I still have to deal with that sometimes I still got some explaining to do but at the end of the day I have worked through all of that and I'm here to tell you once you get to the heart of who you are and you love her and you choose her and you choose to continue to work on her then you're gonna be you're gonna be a-okay let me go in here before these civilians be like they gone. I try to give them a few extra minutes because y'all know they be these civilians, y'all. I tell you, 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 I tell you. They just be doing whatever they want. Lord, I had to take this picture with uh, dusty braids and no chapstick. Yay! Yay! All right, hey, let's do this for you. So I have this. This is Amazon. I'll link it below. Beautiful. Love this. Real, you want to go this way with it. <clears throat> and first, I got to find a song that's popular. Which I can guess. Found it. Found my original audio. Record of 13 seconds. Okay. So let's let's do this. Right, let me correct this light. Yuck.
is Monday in my life. Like Wednesday, be so, so Wednesday-ish. Today, our systems were down, so we had to do everything on paper. There's like a national gas shortage. I mean, I'm not mad at this light right now. Typically, the light in the car is a little raggedy, but there's a national gas shortage. Um, and of course, I had prolonged getting gas. So I went this morning and got some gas. So I'm on full tank, good, baby is good. My husband and Andre actually had filled up like yesterday. So they're both on full tank. So we are good in the house, but Dylan does have practice and stuff today. So I probably will end up getting more gas um, today or tomorrow. I already told my husband I'm not cooking today. So we'll be, um, you know getting something to eat later on today so i that saves me a day i can actually go to the grocery store tomorrow we have creamer and that honestly is like the standard like if we have coffee and we have creamer then i am happy all right so i am waiting for dylan he just started his practice i'm gonna go in in a minute i'm actually gonna do some blogging um the blog has been okay the blog has been i uh, getting some love so i have the uh ipad right here and i'm gonna do some blogging when i go inside but you know every time not every time honestly it's not every time i i feel like once you have gotten over a part of your journey um you will be faced with that part of your journey again to see if you're truly over it right um so there's been situations in my life where oh look at this y'all Yes, Dylan. Okay, I'm coming. Shut the door. You don't need me. Um, so there have been situations in my life where um, they were soft spots uh, because, you know, for whatever reason. And I would constantly be, I presented with them again and I wouldn't, I wouldn't, it would like really still affect my moods, affects who I am affects um, just how I deal with things just affects me it really had this uh, it was like the thorn in my spine it was thorn in my side that's it um, where it still affected me every single time so you know I'm at this place now where I just whatever um, and in general in life with most things I'm just like mm, you don't affect my kids my spouse my money my home life mm, whatever well course you'd be on YouTube and stuff because that's where I'd be on social media and I um you know saw some recommendations and I said oh this video is directly about me it is 118 percent about me so let me just go on here let me just let me just you know let me just look at it and it was um, and it's fine. Uh, and all it reminds me is that there are so many different sides to every story. And there's your side, there's someone else's side, and then there's that fine line, I guess, in the middle where it is the part that is the, the complete factual truth um, without any emotion or memory loss or any of that. Um, and all the sides will be different, right? And people feel how they feel. Everyone's perception and perspective is different in any situation. Um, and it's crazy how different the sides are and can be. And at this age, at 35, I'm like, man, you are entitled to feel how you feel. Um, and that's okay right and I am like so proud of myself because a few years ago I would have like zapped out and, and been feeling all the types of way and sharing and all types of stuff but now I'm just like you're entitled to feel how you feel it doesn't affect me anymore it used to affect me so so bad I used to care I never care about what people think about me but there was you know people who are who were close I felt like they were close and they were friends and I just I don't know. I just felt like word of mouth from someone else weighed so heavily with them that my image was tainted. And now I'm just at this place where I know who I am. I know what I've been through. I know not just that situation, but other situations in my life, what they were. I, I take 
pretty much everything at face value you know i just don't really add much or take much from anything i take most things at face value and I, all this to say i'm super proud of myself for how much i've grown when dealing with situations that used to uh affect me negatively <laughs> on sale the sidewalk sale it's 70 loads and it was only five dollars like four dollars some change so i definitely grabbed that because i love arm and hammer so they have oat milk now at the commissary so super excited about that i'm like team oat milk these days regular milk because that's the only way the kids will eat cereal and then they only wanted some chocolate milk so i got this um this is lactate but it's whole milk got some cleaning things some hair things makeup remover I saw this on someone's Amazon like favorites and I wanted to try it. I really don't like the mouthwash we have it like it has like this weird aftertaste so I'm gonna try this and see how that goes. Got some granola stuff for Tay Tay for like after school and stuff. These y'all this right here these peanut butter and honey are so good and then I'm <laughs> bougie tonight so this is what we're gonna eat with our pasta tonight so yeah. Oh, and then we got two waters, so I probably would do a Sam's Club haul, but probably 
um, at the beginning of the month. That's typically when I make my really big Sam's Club haul. So let's go. Say bye bye. Bye bye. I see you. See you. All right, guys. This is the situation. Somebody cheated. Look at this. That wasn't me. first car wash <gasps> oh <Ooh. laughs> dinner here we can get a cheese go. can you put this in the trunk of the car donating some stuff to the food pantry Here's a teenager, he's working, he's so cute.